mom was so discouraged because a 16-year-old boy was addicted to electronics. That, those were her words. And she was concerned because every time she tried to set up parental controls, he had a way of going around them. He had a cell phone. They would install an app on his cell phone to monitor what was going on. He had some tech savvy. Uh, he would use a VPN to go around some of the things that are happening. And so she was just so discouraged about this. So she was ready to give up. And I said, look, let me help you with this. In fact, let's start with your internet service provider in your house. And I ended up calling Verizon, that was her internet service provider, and finding out what Verizon provides for uh, parental controls. I would just suggest that's going to be a great solution as you m maneuver forward in designing some parental controls for your child. But let's start a little bit outside of, the, of that network. Let's go to when we start allowing children to be involved with electronics. And I would suggest push it off as, as much as you can. Uh, some parents are very eager to get their children involved in electronics, but certainly children under the age of two probably shouldn't see a screen at all. Uh, that's the recommendation of pediatricians today. But even in the preschool years, there's so much brain development going on that we want our children to experience boredom. We want them to be uh, using manipulatives and solving problems and being creative uh, and comforting themselves in ways that don't involve um, electronics.